Once you've set up your corporate membership site settings, you will want to return to your corporate memberships tab, which you can get to from your admin nav menu, going to people, and clicking on corporate members. When you hover over your corporate membership tab in the middle of your screen, you will see corporate membership applications and corporate membership types. Let's follow the steps we followed when we were setting up our memberships and start by setting up our corporate membership types. I've already created a couple of membership types here and you can add more, much like membership types, by clicking on Add Corporate Membership Type on the right hand screen. I'm going to talk a little bit about how corporate membership types vary from individual memberships. When you go in to edit or create a membership type, you can name the corporate membership type however you would like. You can customize the price. You will set the renewal price at the same time. It can be the same amount as I've made it in this site, or it can be zero dollars, it can be whatever you'd like to customize it as. And then you will want to connect your corporate membership type with a regular individual membership type. Corporate memberships allow an entire organization to join and you can customize how many of their staff or employees qualify as members and it gives those employees of the corporate member the same member benefits that you give your other individual membership types. So in this case, I've linked professional membership type with corporate supporters type. Then here you can have a description that you fill in to talk about what is unique to this corporate supporter membership type. And then we have the individual pricing options. So when we have this checkbox to allow a threshold, what that is saying is how many employees from this particular corporate member do you want to allow uh, as part of that $5,000 fee. So you might allow 10 members, 20, you might have it be unlimited and then you would uncheck the box. However, I've decided to allow 20 of their employees to become in members of this corporate membership. And then beyond that, my threshold price is $75, which means that if they have 21 members or 30 members or some random number above 20 that they want to send over from their organization, then each of those members over 20 is going to have to pay a $75 membership fee, which is a discount off of the other price we've set, and then they are also eligible. You can set this to be whatever number you want. These are flexible fields. And then you can decide if it's an admin only membership, meaning only admins can see it and manage it. You might do this for some corporate memberships so that corporate members are encouraged to apply. However, the admin signs them up. And then you would want to make it active. And then you could save and add another, save and continue editing this one, or simply save it. So very much like regular individual memberships, corporate membership types are easy to set up, you can customize them, you can have an unlimited number, and then they're easy to filter from our dashboard on the right hand side. So that's how you set up corporate membership types.